This is one of my favourite examples of a child who's drawn a spontaneous pattern, obviously with different uh, colours and objects. And at first it looks uh, quite random and it doesn't really look like a pattern. But if you look very closely, and you probably need a lot more time to really study it, you will see this, my pattern. Can't you see it's a system? It's circles and then stars and then wheels. And the stars are in the wheels and the wheels are in the circles. And I did them four times each, one thing at a time in eight different colours. And if you could see the video of this, where the student is putting the pencil down and picking it up systematically, each colour, one at a time. It's quite amazing how well she's thinking through the ideas. But the most important thing is the emergent generalisation at the end. There must be the same number of circle stars and wheels. So she's really thinking about multiplication there. She's using three different ideas um, or factors, if you want to call them that, or three different attributes, and then she's using them in groups. And what appeared to be a completely spontaneous pattern is, in fact, a complex uh, multiplicative system. So if you're six years old and you can produce that, you really should be moving on beyond numbers to ten, which was what was happening in the classroom. <laughs>